All right, guys. Um, we came across our second cottonmouth over there. I know you guys can't see it from where I'm at, but I'm gonna come. Yeah, across here. Okay, you want me to keep the camera over here? Uh, if you want to. Well, hold on. I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna show you guys the snake, and then I'm gonna give DJ the camera and uh, let him record me. I'm coming up on it. This one's bigger. Not by much. How'd you step over? Did you step on the wall? Uh, I stepped on the ground. Right down there. What the wall? What the wall? What's going on? I know you, you guys probably cannot see him. I don't even know if he knows I'm here yet. But, I say I don't even know if he knows I'm here yet. Yeah, he knows now. He's sitting right over here. I don't know. Honestly, I do not know. There he goes. He rattled yeah. tail. All right, he went under. See him. Same as the other. I see him still. All right, he's coming up. I'm just going to stay still. I'm just going to stay still and let him do his thing. I'm going to give the camera to DJ now. Still see him? Yeah. Oh, shit. These cotton mouths are aggravating, man. They're really cool snakes to find, but when it comes to this kind of stuff, man, this is tight. Here, hold up. Alright. Cottonmouths have usually been known to, you know, swim above water with their bodies on top. And now, like, always so hard to find because either they're near a hole or they're near, uh, they're near water. I'm going to jump back on the other side. Right. Oh, God. That fell. Do you know which way he went? Alright, let me come down here. He might come up on this bank. Or I might be able to see him over here. Yeah, and, uh, the sun's fairly shining. So I can see, well, y'all can't. It's really shady and hard to see. You alright? I don't know how far down he went. Well, he might have went way down there, too. I know he was facing that way, though. He was facing that way. Uh, it's going to be hard to find another one because cotton barrels are, like, territorial. So they like to take you know, one whole spot. Yeah, they'll, they'll keep a spot to themselves, and you won't, hmm? you won't see another one. Where'd you say is that him? Yeah, there's bugs up here that are moving in zigzags, kind of like a snake's motion. Yeah, he was. Yeah. So, we're going to be waiting around that long. Yeah. So, we're going to go a little bit further. Maybe we'll see him on our way back through. Alright. Guys, um, so 
also found another one, like right next to where this other one was, but this is a different one. Alright, hey, um, right over there where we just seen, right there where you see those logs, right there where we just saw those other ones, down over there, uh, I come right over here, and right down here there's another one. See him over here, DJ? He's a bit bigger. Um, He's right down there. See, man, let's see him now. Yeah. This camera right here really sucks, and I wish I had the other ones because with the other ones I could uh, zoom in and stuff. And I think he knows I'm here. He's got a really dull pattern though. Um, From where I'm at, he's he's right near water and he's near a lot of holes. Yeah, he sees me. So he's got two choices. He's either gonna go in the water. Or he's, yeah, he's either gonna. I'm I'm. Yep, he's right on the step. There he goes. Shot off. I'm just not going to move. Maybe I can see where he goes. Maybe, possibly, either. Possibly he won't go under the water. Possibly he'll come up near a bank. DJ, come over here. Hold the camera. Steady down here. I'm sorry about the quality, guys. I know you guys probably haven't seen either one of these cottonmouths that we've seen. Um, All right, don't move. Yeah. I think he went after that frog. Oh, another hole. Where'd he go? He's right down here in this hole. Oh, fuck. He went under. He might come out over here. Alright. I think he might be chasing. That was a frog. He might have come out. Mr. Don, Piscovorce, Piscovorce. They're, they're, a, they're common, to, but, yeah. Maybe we'll see him again, coming back. Josh said he thinks he might have seen that one last year. Yes, it looked like it's in the same spot that I ran into one last year. I don't know if it's him or not, but it looked like it. And he did the same thing as last year, if it is him. Um, it's kind of hard now, because, like, I used to, you know, I used to not really film it, like, in action of catching the snake. And with the camera that we have now, you can't zoom in, so it's not like I can stand a good distance and zoom in on the snake for you guys to see. I have to get in close. So when I get in close, you know, it startles the snake and it lets him know that I'm there and he takes off. So it makes it harder. And also, you know, I've stopped, uh, I've stopped pinning snakes down and picking them up by the head, you know, just because I feel it's pretty rude to them. And, uh, you know, I've, I've stepped away from that. And so that's another thing that makes it more difficult because with a snake in that situation, he was in a nice little enclosure where I, you know, I could took my hook and pin him down and grabbed him up by the head and everything, and I would have had a cottonmouth, but, you know, what I was going to try to do is hand DJ the camera and just hook him up and get him out of there, but unfortunately, with me trying to get in close to the camera, it didn't really work, so, yeah.